whatever with a Pentium 4 running at 3 point who really cares and um, there's four sticks of one gig each RAM, but it's only running three. And I'm not sure if that's a a um, a me problem, a RAM problem, or a Linux thing. But at any rate, very uh, outdated piece of hardware, and we're gonna see uh, how much fun and what we can do with it. See if we can make it. Useful in 2019. Let's check it out. Alright. First off, I want to say we're recording this in inside the machine with Voco Screen. It's a very uh, lightweight screen recorder that you can get right in the uh, Linux package manager, which is just like a app store but uh, yeah it's very lightweight and uh, doesn't um, hinder anything I'm trying to do here now here is all the uh, different media players and stuff like that right where you can get it set up so it's right there at your uh, um, fingertips but we'll uh, we'll get back to that First, we'll do a quick run through. This isn't so much of a um, review or whatever. It's just to really kind of show um, what you can still do. And uh, in order to get started, we'll just kind of get acquainted real quick. And uh, these are some of the the backgrounds um, from the the different variations of the uh, Linux Mint. Uh, desktop As you can see there's quite a lot of uh, to choose from it's uh, it's gotten a lot better with uh, the selection right out of the box and as you can see all you got to do is just click and boom and nice little show the uh, variation if you're an Apple fan well here you go <laughs> it's even uh so some of the other little things that are uh, in here for uh, accessories and right out of the box that is quite useful is like right here um, able to make bootable USB drives and stuff like that but what's become really popular and rightfully so because it's good for your eyes and people that spend long amounts of time staring at screens all day um, have gotten to appreciate the the redshift and this uh, this comes right out of the box and uh, you can set it up in various ways um, it'll tell you um, all sorts of different um, aspects of what you're looking at and what you can set it at and stuff uh, it's it works well um, it can uh, it can work a little <laughs> too well sometimes but um, also right out of the box usually um, doesn't come chromium but um, I'm more partial to chromium myself. Type in the uh, password. Now you're not going to be surfing the web um, with five tabs open and running vids and playing tunes in the background. This is kind of to just show that you could pull up a YouTube page. Um, you can watch videos um, in 480, no problem. Um, you're not going to be watching anything in high def. Um, you can surely um, 
stream some some good music from uh, the Kill Logic Effect and various type places like that. Also, let's see here. To give a quick uh, look at, just to <laughs> show you, we're not pulling any trickery here, is the uh, info, which you can get right at right quick. As you can see, we're running uh, Cinnamon. Pentium 4, 3 gigs of RAM. Running at uh, 3.6 gigahertz. But yeah, pretty snappy. Now, as far as games goes, um, some nice uh, fun games right out of the box. Again, you're not going to be obviously playing any AAA titles, but there are a uh, ton of um, just wicked fun games to to play that are right in um, the the package manager or their their app store. Um, this is more or less just to show you. Um, the the snappiness or that it's you know running fairly well um with what it's got going on i don't know if maybe the um youtube may be making this look bad <laughs> so um hopefully it kind of gets the point across but uh, again th there are um, a bunch of uh, fun games um, that are that are just again fun mindless game and there's even you know some you can do some some first person shooters some arena stuff that they have um, of course your emulation um, Super Nintendo um, stuff like that um, this is a a really uh, beautiful game um, now again I don't know how YouTube is probably killing the frame rate and making this look ridiculous and um, yeah <laughs> so but the, the the point is is to you know just show it, there's not any graphics cards or anything like that in this thing um, it's just to show that uh, there's uh, there's still the uh, the regular mundane um, everyday and um, more simpler tasks that you could still do um, and especially with um, Linux distros that are much lighter than this this was just one that um, I went to right out of the box to see um, you know what it what it could do again there's ones that are way snappier and that you could you know that would blow your mind but here we have uh, the full office suite um, which I second to none in my opinion <laughs> but uh Here we have uh, Kazam, which is another screen capture and more of a, um, you know, just really fine-tuned, just um, stripped down. I mean, um, screen record of that. It's a pretty good one for GIFs. Got a lot of good stuff for graphics you can still do. Still looking at, again, you're not going to be doing major editing, but um, you could still um, store your pics and stuff. The thing is, is to turn, you know, systems that are getting older like this with like open source software and stuff, you can turn them into dedicated systems for things. Um, now, um, a lot of you that uh, that know me know that I'm a, I'm a DJ on the radio. 
um, syndicated to multiple I'm in the UK and stuff but uh, one of my uh, pride and joys is uh, local music earth here and um, where you can find us right here in the rhythm box um, no problem you should be able to type us in but my uh, my point with that is to also show how we can turn um, older systems into dedicated internet radio or radios I should say and uh, ones that uh, you don't even have to be logged in and uh, be able to listen to your uh, favorite internet radio stations so uh, I hope this video was uh, helpful and taking a quick look at well, we're gonna get more into this was kind of more of just an introduction into what we uh, um, you know can do I'm gonna get more into dedicating these to certain things and showing you really what um, you have the capabilities of doing with uh, some good open source software and uh, um, even some um, old hardware so uh, if you like this vid uh, give it a like all that good stuff comment like subscribe hope it was helpful hope you have a great day